Crucible Theatre is snooker's most famous and most nerve-wracking stage. Every shot played here is under pressure. Our first shot in this year's competition is presented by Ted Lowe, and it's one played by Steve Davis. The world's number one is immaculate, both in dress and play. Brilliant in every phase of the game. Just watch the control of this snooker escape. Mr. Red and the cue ball coming safely back right underneath that top cushion. Shot A then, Steve Davis. Our second shot, shot B, is played by the happy-go-lucky Welshman Cliff Wilson. It comes from his match against Joe Johnson and John Virgo liked it. Yes, it was uh, a vital frame, this. Uh, Cliff was hanging in there with Joe, and uh, this was an important black. It was made to score six each if he gets it, but a brave shot to take on, and typical Cliff Wilson. And look at that, never touched the side, brilliant. Shot B, Cliff Wilson. Shot C, Tony Drago, playing Dennis Taylor, and David Taylor tells us about it. I've chosen this particular shot because it makes the frame completely safe. Takes the red into the corner pocket, no hesitation, and he plays those type of shots, whatever the pressure in the situation. Shot C, Tony Drago. Shot D is played by Stephen Hendry. It comes from his match against Jimmy White, and it's selected by Jack Connor. Well, Stephen has gone three frames down, and it's very important that he restores a balance. And where he could have shut the game down here, he continued to press and make the balls work for him. Now, just watch this. In goes the red, a beautiful little shot. Opens the pack beautifully, perfectly on the black, and he's away. Shot D then, Stephen Hendry. Our next shot, shot E, comes from the same match, but it comes from the final frame. This time it's played by Jimmy White and explained by John Spencer. Well, I think this shot shows the style of both players throughout this match. Jimmy had just potted the black to try and break the reds up and finish up in a safe position, as we thought. But rather than play safe, Jimmy elected to take this red on, up the cush, finish up knocking the red in, getting good position, and went on to break an 86 break, which won him the actual match. Shot E, Jimmy White. Shot F, the player is Steve James, one of the Crucible newcomers, and it comes from his first round match against Rex Williams. Eddie Charlton tells us about it. Yes, this was a very good shot in as much as he had to pocket the yellow, keep the cue ball under control, bring the green ball out, and he went on to win the frame and the match from this position. Shot F, Steve James. And for shot G, it's Doug Mountjoy from his match against Barry West, and it was watched by Clive Everton. Well, Doug Mountjoy needed two snookers on the pink in this particular frame, and this is how he got one of them. Bringing the cue ball of one, two, three, Four cushions and leaving the cue ball almost tight behind the black. Real beauty. Shot G, Doug Mountjoy. And just to remind you, shot A was the one by Steve Davis. Remember, you're trying to pick the top three in order of merit out of the seven you've seen. Shot B was the one played by Cliff Wilson. Shot C, remember the one from Tony Drago. Shot D played by Stephen Hendry. 
Shot E, that was Jimmy White. Shot F, Steve James. And finally, shot G by Doug Mudjoy. And your selections, please, in order of merit, like this, on a postcard on the left, your first choice, your second choice, your third. And please include your name, address, and daytime telephone number, if possible. And this is the address to send it to.